Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In 1 Samuel chapter 14, we read about a foolish command that Saul gives to his men. Uh, there they have the Philistines on their heels, and they're chasing after the Philistines. And Saul makes this command in verse 24, Cursed be the man who eats food before evening, and until I have avenged myself on my enemies. And so Saul here is telling them, don't eat anything until evening or until I have avenged my enemies. Uh, and so the people go out and they're chasing the Philistines. But of course, this takes a lot of energy and they're burning a lot of calories and they're getting famished. And yet they're not able to eat anything because of this command. To make matters worse, they actually had the opportunity to refresh themselves in verse 26. It says, When the people entered the forest, behold, there was a flow of honey, but no man put his hand to his mouth, uh, for the people feared the oath. And this kept them from really having the decisive victory that they could have had over the Philistines, because the people are just famished. And not only that, it led them into sin, because uh, when it's all said and done, they come across these animals and they just tear into them and eat them with the blood, which was a, a violation of God's law. So this was a horrible command by Saul, and it really caused a lot of negative consequences uh, for the people and for the nation as a whole. And so this ought to teach us some things as well. This ought to teach us that we need to sometimes eat the honey. We need sometimes to refresh ourselves. Sometimes we can fall into this trap. Maybe sometimes we're so strict with ourselves that we restrict ourselves from being refreshed. Maybe when it comes to fighting the battles of the Lord, uh, we're constantly focused on fighting the battles, whether it's the battles of temptation or the battle of uh, overcoming uh, adversaries and people who are coming up against us. And we're, we're constantly fighting the battles of the Lord, and, and we never think to, to stop and just refresh ourselves, eat a little honey, uh, that sort of thing. Or maybe we're just so busy with ministry. We're so busy in, in the service for the church and for the kingdom, and we're constantly going, and we're full throttle all the time. And we end up getting burned out because we didn't eat a little honey. We didn't allow ourselves to be refreshed. And so I'd encourage all of us to eat a little honey. Uh, spend a little time of rest, of of quietness perhaps, or, or whatever it is that refreshes you. Um, enjoy uh, something that, that you enjoy to do every once in a while. Eat a little honey. Refresh yourself sometimes. Uh, battling constantly uh, sin and Satan and the flesh and all these different things and, and going out and doing the work of the church and the work of the kingdom it can wear a person down if they don't stop from time to time and refresh themselves. And I would say the best honey we could have, the best sustenance we could take in that would refresh us is just nothing other than basking in the presence of God, saying, Lord, this morning I'm dedicating it to you. I'm dedicating this morning to you to just pray to you, to worship you, to enjoy you, to speak to you, to share my life with you. Uh, to read your word and just meditate over it, uh, to worship you with all my heart. And that's some real good honey. And that's honey that can uh, refresh us and renew us and, and kind of put a fire back in our zeal for the service so that when we are fighting the battles, when we are doing the work, we're refreshed, we're energized, uh, our spirit is renewed, and we're able to go out there with more vigor and accomplish much more than we otherwise would. So today, as we do our reading today, let's be reminded to eat a little honey. Let's be refreshed in the Lord uh, and go out and fight his battles refreshed in him. So these are some things we can reflect on and think about as we do our reading today. But that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.